Hey everyone, Henry here with another video uh, from Wireman Custom Lures. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be discussing an, my personal favorite lures made by Koya Lures that I like to run as teasers. I've got three size categories of teasers that I like to run. I like to, I have a, a white marlin, uh, white marlin uh, teasers. I also have uh, Pacific Blue Marlin and Pacific Sailfish uh, lures, and then I also have 500 pound plus uh, Marlin teasers as well. So these are all by Koya, and these are basically my personal favorites. And what I really recommend uh, would recommend for anyone who's wanting to pull a teaser if you haven't pulled one for the first time, or if you're looking to get new ones for your collection, I highly recommend these following shapes. Um, so for the first uh, uh, category of te uh, teasers I like to run, as, as most of you guys know, for those who don't know, a teaser is purely a lure that has no hooks in it, but you're trying to create the biggest amount of uh, commotion and action on the surface to raise the fish up from down below underneath the boat. You're trying to create the biggest smoke trail, the biggest amount of vibration and turbulence in the water. So. Starting off with the lures I would personally uh, like to run for if I was fishing for uh, white marlin up in the northeast, up in the, out of like Ocean City, for example. This is a 14 inch tube by Koya Lures. It's a really large diameter head and a lot of people uh, you know, used to think that tubes, you could really only run these in calm water, but with a lot of lure makers now, especially Koya, all of the, his stuff is keel weighted. So even on rougher days, you're able to pull these lures effectively and have them swim the right way. Uh, the reason why I love the 14 inch tube is you could pretty much run this in any position. You could run this on, uh, on the short corner, long corner, but also as a teaser by itself, it uh, creates so much action and it's a really, really good lure. And tubes have come, come a long ways, especially with the keel wasting. They work a lot better than they used to. So it's really large diameter head, and so it creates a ton of, uh, it pushes a ton of water. And then with the vinyl added on, it creates a ton of smoke trail. And you really get to see the lure move the way it's supposed to, especially as a teaser. So that's probably one of my personal favorites. If I was going to pull a, a teaser, an individual teaser, uh, say up in Ocean City, where you're chasing you know, smaller billfish. Uh, probably my personal favorite shape of all time by Koya Lures. Uh, this is the Lodge 861. This lure is super aggressive moving and it creates a ton of side to side movement. Um, this particular one has got a John Niyama uh, Mahi head insert in it. It's one of their collabs. Um, really, really great lure and that will run in any conditions possible. So if you're looking for a shape that works in all conditions, I really recommend the uh, the Large 861. It's a really great lure. Uh, another one which you could uh, pull also in the Big Rock, for example, if you're chasing blues and whites, um, the Medium Poi Dog is a really good option. I mean, the uh, the Poi Dog line by Eric Koyanagi is probably his most famous shape of all time. Um, He's there have been countless five hundred pound plus fish caught off of his of the poi dog, then the medium poi dog is just a great all around lure and definitely if you say if you were fishing in Mag Bay as well for striped marlin this would be a great teaser to run as well. And uh, it's uh, almost uh, almost really similar to the medium poi dog the large six fourteen. It's got a sl it doesn't have as much of a taper going down the down to the nose, but a really similar shape to the medium poi dog, but just as effective and it's a really, really good lure and it works in all conditions. So highly recommend that one as well. And then one of the lesser known shapes by Koya, the Koya JP Lunger. This is the large lunger. All these shapes right here, they're all 14 inch size teasers. Um, but the JP Lunger by Koya is one of his most underestimated lures. And the original Lunger was made by Joe Palacat, who basically was Eric's mentor when he was making lures. He'd give him tips and advice of how to make, uh, how to improve his stuff. And then basically Eric uh, was given permission to make the Lunger. 
And what Eric did is just like all of his other shapes, he got the he took the lunge and he added a keel weight to it. And from the fe the people that I know that have bought these from me, they've said that they've had amazing success on this particular lure. The large lungers caught them a ton of fish. Um, for example, uh, there's a charter group down in the Galapagos who pull this large lunger consistently, and they get a ton of bites on this lure. So this is really great as well, and this will work in any sea condition. So if you're looking for a you know a lesser known lure that uh not many people know about the lunger is a really amazing lure to run all right so if you um if you're going to be fishing for you know bigger billfish you want to start you know moving up to say the large uh pacific sailfish and get some blue marlin you know you know anywhere between 200 to you know upwards of 400 pounds um you can never go wrong with a koi a large kona plunger similar shape and design to the uh traditional super plunger that was made by joe yi but it's just slightly different i believe it's slightly skinnier again this will run perfectly in all sea conditions and it's just a really amazing lure and very consistent swimming and you can pull it from all angles in all positions it'll run great every single time and one of my one of my all-time personal favorites this is the Koya 14 inch hardhead. Uh, this has got a slight taper to it. He doesn't actually keel weight his hardhead, so, um, and it really does honestly doesn't matter that he doesn't keel weight it because these lures in particular, I don't know what it is about this hardhead, but all of his hardhead shapes, they all, uh, when they uh, grab a pocket of air and they dive back down, uh, it will keep smoking all the way back up until it comes back up uh, for another uh, pocket of air and it doesn't stop smoking and this thing you can run in the roughest conditions and it'll uh, run perfectly every single time um, just you know if you want uh, this would be definitely probably in my top three go-to's for a teaser if I'm fishing anywhere in the world uh, for billfish just a really great lure and you could easily pull this as well for striped marlin and uh, uh, white marlin and then also some bigger billfish. Now moving on to uh, lot to some larger teasers so you know if you're fishing for really big pacific sailfish you know big blue marlin like if you're fishing at like the big rock tournament or you're fishing in the Bahamas uh, these would be my uh, recommended teasers to go with if you're fishing over 50 pound class and heavier um this is the koya xl lunger and this particular one we just got skirted in some rubber skirts um the xl lunger is kind of like i would say it's like a hybrid of a plunger and a tube um there's just a slight taper towards the front of the lure but and uh as you can see it's a really wide head as well and it's also keel weighted and this thing packs a punch. I mean, you'll see this thing swimming like a mile away. It smokes like crazy. And again, it's one of the less uh, less common lures that uh, people run, but it's very un like uh, underestimated or undervalued. So um, these are definitely, these are more expensive than uh, some of his other shapes, but the lunger is such a classic shape that, was, that Joe Palacat made. And the fact that we've got uh, uh, Eric making these, and he even made them better than the original ones by keel weighting them. So this would definitely be uh, probably in my top two favorite teasers to pull for Big Blue Marlin. And then I've also got a couple. I've got another one here. There's a salt and pepper. This one's done in vinyl. Really, really great lure. And then moving on to probably Eric's most famous shape, the large boy dog. Uh, the large poi dog, I think, now has a total of four granders now caught on it. Um, just you, I mean, you cannot get a better lure than the poi dog. It's just simply a classic that Eric's made and has done really, really amazingly in in tournaments and just you know daily fish, daily fishing. Uh, yeah, dozens and dozens and dozens of blue marlin caught over four five hundred pounds, and then of course uh, the four or five granders that have been caught on it so um yeah if you're look uh, if you're looking just for a you know simple teaser to run that that is reliable the large boy dog is a must go to uh, and 
we have all we have the large boy dog in all different uh colors and we can do all different custom vinyl on it so um if you check out on our website you can actually find some of these teasers available for sale in all different colors and stuff like that so um but yeah a uh, large poi dog if you haven't got one you got to try one they're uh, amazing lures and then this one here is the XL Kona plunger this was a special black beauty that uh, Eric did for us um with some really lovely mother of pearl shell uh, inside of it um this actually has been the hottest lure down in uh uh, down in Costa Rica out of uh, Los Sueños. So I'm not going to say the name of the boat, but uh, they've been pulling two of these as their teasers and they've been getting destroyed every single day. Um, it's, you know, it's very similar to say a Joe Yi double plunger, really large head. It's, I think it's about the same size as the same in length as the large Kona plunger. It's just larger in diameter and again, just that added weight will keep it down in the water and not uh, come out in the rough seas. So definitely if you're fishing for you know, bigger uh, size billfish, over 300, 400 pounds, I definitely recommend trying this lure out. And then uh, uh, al almost done. So we've got uh, this shape here. Yen is my favorite shape of all time by Koya. This is the XL size of the 861, a 16 inch size teaser. Um, with the way he's got the forward and reverse taper on this head and keel weighted with a really large face on it, this thing packs a punch and it will smoke like crazy all behind the boat. So, and I, I love especially running this lure in rough weather as a teaser. So I definitely recommend this if you're fishing in a rougher fishery. And lastly, this is the second biggest teaser that uh, Eric makes. So or the biggest, lure, the second biggest lure that Eric makes. This is the double XL Poi Dog, much larger in size than all the rest of the lures. Unfortunately, I don't have a quad XL Poi Dog to show you. That's a whole nother animal of a lure to run. But um, the you can run these things with uh, twelve O hooks in it. But um, for the most part, everyone's running these as teasers. Uh, this thing just creates so much commotion behind the boat and it's it's impossible to miss it and uh you know if, if you're fi if you're looking for a really big fish and you're going to pitch say like a big spanish mackerel to a you know, 600 pound plus blue marlin it, this is the teaser you want to pull and it's you know follow it's just an increased size of the large boy dog that's had so many granders already caught on it so uh if you're looking for the big you know a really big teaser where you're you know say if you're in cape verde or madeira or down on the great barrier reef you know, chasing, you know, closer to thousand pound marlin, the double XL poi dog would be a r fantastic shape to run. But, um, yeah, you can find all these shapes on our website, wyomancustomlures.com. Um, if you have any questions or you're looking for anything at all to, uh, you have any questions about skirting options and stuff like that, we always prefer to do vinyl on all of our bigger lures over tw uh, um, 12 inches and larger and just allows the lures to swim a lot more freely and create the action that they're supposed to. Um, but yeah, if you like this video guys and you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave them in our comment section. If you wanna reach out to us and about uh, acquiring some teasers uh, for your boat, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Wyman Custom Lures and uh, or feel, feel free to give me a call. You can find my phone number on the website or on Instagram. But um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys um, and I look forward to hearing your, your feedback and uh, uh, hopefully this will help you catch some more fish if you're looking for teasers. Thanks and have a good one.